Hey guys, happy Sunday. It's Sunday, June 28th. It's just after 12 noon. It's like 12, 10 or something. Um, this is a sweatshirt. This is my favorite sweatshirt. It's a large, oversized, like Massimo is a old Target brand. It's a men's double XL. I love this sweatshirt. I wear it a lot when I'm out walking, when it's chilly out. Um, it's really old and I don't want to get rid of it, but yeah, I got a hole in the pocket. So I picked up some shirts at the thrift store recently and I'm going to make some hexagons, English paper piecing style, and I'm going to sew them to my pocket um, to cover the hole and then I'm gonna embroider a little bit on it. So I will get that done and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, sweatshirt's all fixed. What do you think? I like it. So now I've got a t-shirt to fix because, you know, my clothes either have holes in them or paint on them. So yeah, I'm gonna do the t-shirt next. I'll be back. Okay, so I also fixed my black t-shirt. It's just a simple old navy t-shirt. In fact, I think this might be one I got the thrift at the thrift store. Anyway, I got a hole in it. <laughs> Down by the hem. There we go, down by the hem. I could have just repaired it with black, but I thought, you know, why not a pop of color? So it had a, a hole in it, a, a little tear in the hole, and I took some of my plaid fabric and backed it, and then I did a few little just French knots in black and then this variegated tealy blue color. I mean, you know, yeah, why not? Just a little, where are we? A little pop of color. So, and... Again, quick turn this to the right side out. You can see my favorite sweatshirt is all fixed. So, you know, you don't always have to get new. You can repair it and you don't have to try to do a repair that doesn't show. Why, why, why? So slow stitching and repair together. It's not an original idea, people. Don't get excited. There's a lot of video out there. Anyway, I think it's time to eat lunch. I'll be back. And the shirts I picked up at the uh, thrift store the other day have all been uh, cut up and parted out. Um, I will probably be taking um, some of the excess and putting it um, in fabric bundles in the Etsy shop again, uh, probably sometime this week. So watch for that. Um, those will be something I think going forward that will be periodically in the shop um, as I can get supplies to share. And um, as long as they sell, I'll be offering them as long as you're all interested. Anyway, all right, we're waiting for the kids to come over. They're gonna be dropping the dog off because I think we're puppy sitting for a few hours and I need to eat some lunch. All right, I'll be back.
Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, June 29th, uh, 8.53 a.m. I'm in front of the computer. Don't get excited. As you just saw, I was doing my weekly list of to-do things that I need to do. Uh, that little note can go away. Um, I'm going to start off the week by booting up the computer and checking on social media, doing my writing. Those are a couple things I can get off my list right away, and I will probably go through all the vlog clips from last week and get that edited this morning also. I need to check in with a friend who's having a hard time right now. And I have other things I'd like to do today, but those are my priority. So remember a while back when I was saying that I suck at getting pictures of wildlife? Yeah. You still do. I still do. So as we were coming around the corner um, from our house, just like two doors down, two deer ran in front of us across the creek, across the road from one side of the creek to the other side of the creek. I couldn't get the phone open fast enough. We're too fast. I know. Anyway, we're headed out for this evening's walk. I didn't expect that I was going to do all the purging that I did today, but I got all the purge items listed up on Etsy, so that's all done. I thought I was going to end up doing something else, but that's okay. I needed doing this week. Um, tomorrow I've got a bunch of watercolor paintings to do and film, so yeah. All right, that's it for the moment. We're going to go walking. The only wildlife I can catch a picture of is that cat back there, right there. That black dot's a cat. I couldn't even catch the bumblebee on camera. Because, you know, the only ones I can catch are the sleeping cat and the slugs. That's it. And Lily. And Lily. I'm useless at wildlife photography. So, you know, I guess we're all bad at something, right? All right. We're headed back. I haven't run into any people, so I haven't needed this. Yay. Hey, guys. It is Tuesday, June 30th, like 2.11 p.m. I had to look because I have no idea. I was going to concentrate on filming the some more of the 30 Paintings in 30 Days series. And I did get some of that filmed, um, five more episodes. Um, but I spent most of the morning updating all of the different merch sites my artwork is on, which I haven't done in a long time, so it needed it. Um, all the sites are a little bit different in what merchandise is available how they format the artwork to be printed on their um, sites. But I do have merchandise on Teespring, Redbubble, and Society6. I will link all of them down below. Um, Redbubble has a bunch of my artwork on available on masks. There is a few on Society6 too. And um, so yeah, anyway, I got all that done and then I had lunch and then I filmed. In the meantime, I am fascinated by watching all of the crazy drama that's going on in the beauty community here on YouTube. Holy cow. Glad I'm not in the beauty community. Um, that's just insane. Hey guys. So it is about six o'clock on Tuesday evening, the 30th of June. And Bob is headed out really quick to go drop off a package for me um, at the mailbox. And I'm cooking some pasta. He asked me, what do you want for dinner? I said something I don't have to cook. <laughs> Was anybody else like just getting tired of, yeah, tired, just getting tired. Anyway. Hey guys, good morning. It is, I don't know, uh, after 8 a.m. on Wednesday, July 1st. I don't know exactly what time it is, 8.30ish. It's not nine o'clock, I don't think. Anyway, if you remember from last week's vlog, um, I put some twill tape into my camellia flower dye on Saturday. I meant to only leave it in there until Sunday, but it's Wednesday. Yeah, so we're gonna take it out now. I've got a cookie sheet to hopefully try to control the mess. I've got gloves on. And I'm gonna put it out on this rack on top of this cookie sheet to dry. The idea is to take it out of the water, kind of squeeze it out over the container as much as I can and then lay it out on this rack to dry. It may pick up a little bit of old water-soluble ink 
or dye or paint or something from the rack, I'm okay with that. Um, because I have used these racks before for like dyeing paper and stuff, so that is a pretty pink color. I'm not going to rinse it off. I'm going to just let it dry naturally and then we'll see what happens. It's a pretty sort of light, well, medium pink color. Might be a happy accident that I ended up leaving it in here because maybe it is darker because I did that. I don't know. I'll show you all in a minute. Can you see? Oh yeah, you can see it on camera. It's a pretty pink color. Now I do have some scrap packs available in my Etsy shop and I packed them up and listed them without putting any of this in there. I may go back if they don't sell before um, I get done with drying this and everything. I may go back and spool a little um, some of this and um, add it to those scrap packs. Is there any more in there? Um, I don't think so. I think that's it. Let's see. Nope, that's it. Okay, so I really, really, really don't want to get pink dye on my ironing board, but we're going to see if I can do this. And that's my uh, art friend's chat that's like dinging in the background, so sorry. All right. Yay, I did that without making a mess. Woohoo, yay me. All right. a terrible camera angle <laughs> hey guys it is I was gonna say Wednesday it's Thursday it's just after two o'clock I spent the morning chatting with some friends and um, last week if you saw me sorting through my stickers I had some that I kept that were in small um, little storage journals that I had made using like happy planner rings um, and it just wasn't working for me anymore and um, it had to change. So I spent some time while we were chatting today um, sorting through the stickers that were in those. They're not all the stickers I kept, but the ones that I'm going to be actively using um, were in there. And also I had another one that had post-it notes in it. And so I... Hold on a second. Okay, so I had this traveler's notebook style notebook from... These were from Michael's, I think. Um, and um, I had this one, it had a journal in it. Um, so um, it's about this, the journal cover is about the same size as the journal I'm drawing in for this month, which is great. Cause if I had to, I could just take the two of these and a pen and go. Um, not that I'm going anywhere. Cause where, they, where are we gonna go? And that's my, my lunch yogurt. Um, but this um, traveler's notebook cover worked great. Um, I have some, what are they called? Invoice pockets? I, uh, I don't remember, but there are these thick vinyl pockets I got on Amazon. I'll link them below. They were wider and um, I cut them apart down one side, took like about an inch off. And then I taped two of them together at the center where the, they were not open, I left the opening on the outside edge. And then um, I made a whole bunch of them and I'm able to put my stickers in and um, sorted some sticky notes that I want to use in the, in the drawing journal. I purged a little bit um, from those old disc bound journals I had them in, um, which worked at the time, but they weren't working anymore for me. And I had two of the disc bound journals they were very fat, very bulky, and not super convenient to get to and to have downstairs. This way, I just have this. That works for me. I do have more stickers upstairs, but um, for now, I'm going to focus on getting through these. And I do um, have a couple particular styles of stickers I like. If you took a, any kind of a slow look at that, I like the Hita stickers in particular. 
um, and a Japanese sort of planner type stickers. Um, and that's kind of what I used yesterday. I used, oops, one of them down there, see? So yeah, so anyway, so that worked for me. So I spent some time while I was chatting with my friends working on that and um, getting some stuff done in that regard. Um, I have to go through scrapbooking paper soon and also I need to get some resin projects finished and go through the resin stuff and maybe work on that section of the art room. Yeah, and stuff like that. So First, I'm going to eat some lunch and watch some YouTube and then we'll see where I get to from there. I'll be back. Friday morning. It's July 3rd. Yes, because oh, she's still there. Um, tomorrow's 4th of July. So I woke up this morning to, well, I kind of knew what was happening last night. My family having a Facebook disagreement. That's the nicest way to put that. About the current state of things in our country. Yeah, in politics and, and with the virus um, on my sister Elizabeth's Facebook page because <laughs> that's a proper place to have that I don't know anyway um, and Bambi's outside and she didn't seem to care one little bit that Bob left a few minutes ago and pulled the car out of the driveway to go to the gym and drop off um, an Etsy order this morning. Bronwyn, your box is being dropped off as we speak. Um, it's just before 10 a.m. and you should have it, I would think by Monday, and you probably got an email with a tracking number. If you didn't message me, let me know. Anyway, Bambi didn't seem to be bothered in the slightest. She was too busy eating breakfast. And I'm guessing when she's done, those bowls are gonna be empty. There's two bowls out there. She seems to be like counting down on both of them. Hold on, I'll get you all a picture. There she is. That's the view out my front window. So, my driveway is open to the woods next to my house. So we have lots of wildlife that come through. Lots of stray cats, but also deer, raccoons, coyote, possum, it looks like those bowls might be empty. She's rooting around on the ground. Anyway, as soon as she's gone, I'll put some more corn out. I'm right now gonna go upstairs and turn on the computer. I've got another Etsy order to fill that can actually go in the drop box here by the house. So I gotta go take care of that. I'll be back. Okay, the camellia dyed ribbon is dried and spooled. I'll put a picture here. We've got the old coffee ground in a jar soaking in water um you know if you have old coffee grounds cheap coffee maybe from the dollar store just soak a bunch of it in a jar of water until the water gets black and then drain it off saving the water and you've got coffee dye um, i have a lot of coffee grounds in that jar i'm going to let it soak for a couple of days and then i'm going to drain off the water to save and i'm going to refill the jar with more water and see what happens so i'll keep you posted Anyway, we're going to move the washer and dryer out so I can clean the floor and get ready for the new washer and dryer to come in because, yeah, washer machine broke the other day. I think I, I don't know if I vlogged about it right now, but yeah, anyway, husband's moving the cars around so that when the kids get here for dinner, uh, we have a place to put the washer and dryer in the garage so that we can clean the floor because, yeah. Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon, just around lunchtime-ish. I think it's 
like 12.30, 12.40, somewhere in there. Um, we went and dropped off an Etsy order at the post office, checked on the P.O. box. I picked up some envelopes. He's closing the garage door, we fed Bambi. Um, dropped off some donations. The kids are coming over later. Only Rebecca and Polly is, uh, Jenny and Brian aren't coming. Brian ate something, I think, last night, but he's not feeling well today, so. Yeah, um, but we have a little bit before they all show up, so we just thought we'd go for a little drive. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and have some lunch and relax for a little bit and I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 11, 12 p.m., 4th of July evening. I'm sure at some point you'll still be able to hear it because um, it's loud. Um, the neighbors behind us, uh, more than one of them, are still setting off fireworks. I don't think I'm probably going to be able to get to sleep anytime soon. Right, dear? Right. Yeah. yeah. Fred and I are still awake. Um, I was just posting to social media and all that stuff. Anyway, it was a quiet Saturday, a quiet 4th, but that was all right. Um, the kids, uh, came over, we barbecued some hamburgers and, uh, for those that don't know, we do still see our daughter and son-in-law up until recently they lived with us. Um, so we feel like being socially distanced kind of a little bit pointless since they used to live here recently. Um, anyway, I hope you've all had a good week. Yeah, see, popping here. I hope you've all had a good week. We've had a, you know, decent week considering uh, the world situation. It's not been bad. Uh, it's different. It's not bad. <laughs> anyway, it's been a good week. I hope it's been good for you too. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube um, and get things like digital downloads from me, occasional snail mail from me, um, tutorials that you don't get, uh, here on YouTube, join my Patreon. Uh, think about doing that. If you don't want to join Patreon, you can shop at my Etsy store or, uh, one of a number of other things to support the free content, not just for my channel. A lot of your favorite creative have ways to support their free content, both on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. If you can't find store links or something for them, ask them. I'm sure they've got a way. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We're going to hope they stop sometime soon so I can get some sleep. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.